First and foremost, like you for all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, the true Holy Black Messiah, the King of Kings, ruled to himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the final of our true Father, one of the West. This is for all the kings coming right back at you here with another lesson. Before I go far in this lesson, lesson 10 and 2, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of the so called African American blacks today, so called Latino, so called Native American Indian descent, and also our Israelite foreigners. They look like the other nation. Because you don't have Israelites, they look like every nation under the sun. They're going to look like every nation. They even want to speak their languages. So that stigma of saying that we are the black Hebrew Israelites, that's actually out of place. Because the Israelites are going to look like every nation under the sun where we were scattered. It's not based off color, but based rather based off the heritage of your father. To the 12 tribes that scattered brought to you, I say Shalom. So I'm going to go right into this lesson here. Um, the tightest lesson is going to be you women foolishly think that think that. And what do these women think here in the West, which is Babylon the Great, which is Rome all over again? You know, these women here, um, and I'm going to get to the statue here in a little bit, as you see in this picture. These women here is going right along with the title. These women here actually really believe and really think and really believe that they can go right to the most high without a man. That they, that, they, that they can, they don't even, so in other words, they saying they don't need a savior, they don't need a husband, they don't need, they actually saying they don't need a deliverer. They pretty much saying that they can go right to the most high. And, and you know, and that's so far from the natural orders on how the most high set things up. Us men, men of the Lord, men who fear the most high, men who walk up, try to keep the law, statute, and commandments to the best of our abilities. And walk up righteously before the Most High. And we fear him. We can't even go right before the Most High. We have to go through his holy precious son, Yahweh Shah. Because why? The Most High is perfection. No, no spot, nor blemish, anything could be before the Most High. That's why he set up this divine order. Let's get 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 18. It says, Um... Oh, uh, Slocky, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to that. Matter of fact, I can go ahead and read that and I'm gonna go right to the order of things. Okay, so if the righteous be be saved, Slocky, for and, and if I'm gonna read from the top here. This King James Version, read from the top. It says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? You hear you see you you, you see you, you see how serious this is? And you women here in America, in America y'all really think y'all going to get the kingdom without a husband. Without It's called the kingdom of heaven, not queendom. <laughs> it's called the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> man, you women are foolish, man. So let's get the order how the most I set things up. This 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know. That the head of every man is Christ. Remember, I just mentioned to you earlier, um, brother, sister was listening. Remember, I mentioned that we can't even go before the Most High without a cover, without a hedge. So, if we try our best to walk up righteously, keeping the commandments, and our faith in our Savior, if we can't go to the Most High directly, how much more you women? And remember, the beginning of sin came through a woman. And remember, I just read, it says the uh, righteous just scarcely make it. Why do you think Sarah called Abraham Lord? Because why? That was her cover. That was her hedge. That was her husband. And she knew.